So often I'm on Instagram and Instagram reels are just feeding through and I find Instagram reels even 10 times more addicting than anything else that social media has ever created because of the information, the bite-sizedness, the inspiration, the backdrop. It's also just, and there's a lot more of them. So I often find myself watching them way more than I need to. Now that I've outed myself as obsessed with Instagram reels, I've also had a lot of interesting wisdom come to me from Instagram reels. And I wanna highlight one piece that leads into the question today. And the question is, if a lion that was born in captivity, who's never experienced the wild, why does he have to be put in a cage with the door closed? If he's never experienced freedom, if he's never experienced what it's like to be in the wild and to be free without boundaries and without barriers, how would he know to run? How would he know to attack? Why would we need to protect ourselves from someone and an animal that's never experienced what we think a lion or we're protecting ourselves from a lion for? And this person on Instagram nailed it and it hit me and it leads me to bring it to you today. And he's like, it's because the lion instinctively knows something on the inside is meant to be done. That there's this feeling instinctively in his instincts that he knows he's meant to run, that he's meant to do something different, that it's not about the environment that we're raised in. It's biologically inside that lion. There's something that tells him to leave the cage. And I say leave the cage because that's often what we are called to do as men, going back to caveman days, is we were called to leave the cave, leave the cave, that we had this feeling while we felt safe inside there that cave we felt like everything was provided for us in that cave we still felt instinctively called to go outside to explore and it's almost like this human experience where we're exploring space and exploring all these areas within the world down below and in the oceans it's because there's instinct like we've never been to the bottom of the ocean but we feel instinctively like we should and we never lived down there so if we've never lived down there, what about tells us we should go? It's because there's instinct on the inside that tells us to explore, it tells us to live, expels, it tells us to learn. And so tying into the title of this episode is there has to be more than this to life. It was born out of a conversation that I was having with a coach of mine, and he and I were talking about different things that I've been saying and trying to put them together. And we came to this idea that how many of you Maybe it's you directly that's listening to this, not even them, it's you. How many times have you said, there just has to be more to this life than an eight to five job? That there just has to be more to this in the pursuit of Target? That there just has to be more to this in the pursuit of the next Netflix or Amazon special to binge? That there just has to be more to this, to life? Like there is something more to this than the mediocrity that we feel every day. We see it on Instagram. We see it with all these celebrities. We wonder, what's the gap? Why do they do it and we don't? Why do they thrive and we don't? What makes someone go from where I am to where they are? You may have been wondering the same thing about me. This thought, this question is part of my Genesis moment, that there's got to be more to life than this eight to five job, because this doesn't feel like life. I'm technically alive. Biologically, I'm alive. I breathe and in oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. But am I alive? Do I feel like I'm living? Now, this is a context and play on words, but an important one. Because just because you're alive does not mean you're living. And there's more to life than being alive. Biologically, we come into this world alive, hopefully. We have a gift of about 80 years to figure out what living looks like. But most of us never accept that. And most of us focus on staying alive versus living. Most of us focus on staying alive versus living. Most men have been told how to make a living, but most men have never been told how to live. We've never had the capacity. We've never been instructed. We've never had 
additional oxygen to our fire, our furnace on the inside of our chest. We feel that flame on the inside, but maybe it's the size of a pilot light and you're just waiting for the rush of gas to turn that furnace on and rise up through the ashes and become something more, to dive into something that you've always wanted to be. As I said, this is born out of this idea. If you've never known the wild, why do lions still instinctively want to attack? Why do we still lock them up? The analogy of locking men up in cubes and desks and jobs and cubicles, all of these things, we still know that there's something more, but we've been told to live here. And if, even if you've never experienced something different, it doesn't mean that you don't have an itch for more. This is a deep episode. I realized it. This is an episode that hopefully opened up this feeling that you might not actually be feeling and maybe even got that pile of light to brighten up a little bit. I'd love to have a conversation with you. The conversations that I have with men is an invitation to life was what I figured out this week. Secretly, me not knowing it, what I help you do is figure out what living looks like and redefining those parameters for living. Because the basic parameters of being alive are biologically your heartbeat, a brainwave, and you're taking in air. Very few parameters within that are the definition of living. Living is an experiential invitation it's something you curate. It's something you go seek. And again, it's something you invite into your life, like a conversation with me. If you feel that pilot light, if you have that pilot light and that itch, and you're wondering, is there more to life than this? If there's more to life than focusing on target, if you want to find out that more, let's have a conversation. Head on over to bencloy.com, hit the button in the upper right-hand corner, and let's have that conversation. As you know, if you're a long-time listener, one hello can change your life. On the other side of the hello is potentially everything you've ever wanted. Having the courage to test that gate and see if it's locked. Most times, we may lock it in the beginning, and then we test it as men, and we learn that it's locked, and we never go back to check it. Most of the time, it's unlocked looks closed and all it needs is a push to break through. I would love to be that friend, that coach, that mentor to you by inviting a conversation into your life. As I'll have for you today, have an amazing Thursday and I'll be back again with you guys tomorrow to close out the week.